What's going on, you guys? Angel Roboto here, and welcome back to Those Nights of Warriors 3 Infinite Cycle, where we'll be taking on part 6 of the custom night mode in the kitchen, which I will switch for this room. We're dealing with Luigi and Yoshi, so which I will set them to their levels. I'll set Luigi on level 7, Yoshi on level 8. So, without further ado, we'll take on part 6 of the custom night mode in the kitchen and see what it has to offer for us. We have a microwave to use. Got a camera. Hey, Link. You didn't show up today at work, so I can only assume you're still in the house. So, what did you hide tonight? The kitchen, I see. You know, when I said I hide in a different room, you could have at least went a bit further than just one room away. Alright, anyway, there isn't a whole lot in there for you. Okay, so whoever leaves the hallway or the first living room, we have to turn on the microwave to scare them off. So this game has this game for the kitchen has the same mechanic as it does as as it does in Finance Warriors Trap Within, where you have to use the microwave to scare off the characters. Only difference is in Trap Within we had to turn on the microwave when the characters came in. Whereas in this game we have to use the microwave to scare them off when they leave. I gotta remember to charge the camera. Oh, there's Luigi. Okay, and I see Yoshi. Okay, so Luigi's gonna be coming from the first living room. Yoshi's gonna be coming from the hallway, and whoever leaves first, we gotta turn on the microwave. Oh, Yoshi left. I think so did Luigi, so I gotta turn on the microwave. Okay, we gotta turn on the microwave. Oh, wait. Yoshi's in the dining room. Luigi just left, so I gotta use the microwave to scare off Luigi, which I just saw him right there. I thought Yoshi was gonna be coming after me because I saw him in the hallway, but he didn't. It was Luigi. And I gotta charge the camera. Okay, so I got rid of Luigi. Now I gotta check for Yoshi. Since Yoshi's coming up next because Luigi came first. And the microwave is recharging, as you can see. So I hope it recharges in time for me to scare off Yoshi.
Yoshi left. Okay, we gotta turn on the microwave. Yoshi just left. Yoshi left, so I gotta turn on the microwave for him. Check for Luigi. Alright, got rid of Yoshi. There we go. Okay, so the characters will come in the room when the microwave turns on and then leave. Because we gotta turn it on once they leave the camera. Perfect. Okay, so this isn't actually as this room isn't actually as tricky as I thought it would be, because most of the rooms I've done were confusing, but this is one of the few that hasn't been confusing. And then the other rooms I haven't, the other rooms I've done that were confusing were the um, was the garage. The garage was another one that wasn't confusing, as well as the third, the second bedroom. Okay, Luigi's coming. I see him coming. He's moving closer. I can see he's about... I see... I, I see... I can see that he's about to make a run for it. But don't worry, I got my eyes on Luigi. To prevent him from making a run for it. <laughs> okay, Yoshi's in the hallway. I still see Luigi. They haven't really moved much since I've been checking them on the cameras. Okay, I gotta turn on the microwave. I think Luigi just left. Alright, Luigi left, so I turn on the microwave for him. I'll check the hallway for Yoshi. I saw him in the dining room, so he'll be moving to the hallway soon. I just had to deal with Luigi. And we beat part six of the custom knife mold in the kitchen, which was one of the easiest rooms to do. So that's a good thing. Okay, so the next room we have to do is the basement, which we will take which we will take that on in part seven of the custom knife mold. I will end my video here. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.